Okay, we're gonna start with the cheapest option. Cause I know a lot of broke people are watching this. So I bought this from Timu for like 20 bucks. It's actually pretty cool. Cause you can actually plug it to your phone. And you can draw with it instead of using your nasty fingers. I'm drawing on Ibis Paint. Now, this tablet is giving. I feel so poor using this. But at least I won't get tendonitis. And guys, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. So when you first buy it, it's gonna be wonky app like this. Like literally, what the hell is that? So what you're gonna do is press these two buttons. Which will switch the orientation. And there we go. Oh, what a handsome gentleman. This is the cheapest tablet I've ever had. But surprisingly, it's holding up pretty well. So I just use my right hand to draw and my left hand to zoom in and stuff. The downside is that it has a crappy detection system. You can't use your fingers while the pen is near the tablet. But that's okay because the precision though. Look at how in sync it is with my hand. You see that? Amazing. Okay, but the buttons are useless af though. Only the middle and the one on the right work for some reason. A forever. Anyway, the biggest con is how small and thin it is. There's like zero room for my Bigfoot hand to move, okay? But everyone who has used a tablet knows that you eventually get used to the pain. Look at how freaking thin and anorexic this is. I could literally snap it in half. But also, this costs as much as two trips to Jollibee. Of course, it's not gonna be as good as a freaking iPad, man. Okay, the real test. Can it draw juicy lips? Let's see, let's see. I'm just using Ibis Paint on my phone and... Oh, ooh la la. You know it's juicy when it low-key look like a booty hole. What's also cool is that it works on a laptop because they have a driver that you can download. Now you can draw all the juicy lips you want. Anyway, it's pretty good for your first drawing tablet. I would not expect this to last a year though. However, it's better than using your pathetic little fingers. Seriously though, I don't get people who draw with their fingers. Do you really want tendonitis that badly? Or do you just hate yourself? Which one is it? Overall, 5 out of 10. Good for school or just first timers. And super portable. Next is the Zens Labs pen tablet. It's $380, which is affordable enough if you actually saved up for it. But it's a little bit more expensive so that the plebs won't be able to buy it. Now, let's start with the accessories. Now, this has a lot of accessories, bro. And for $380, as it should. So if you spend $380, bucks, they give you not just one pen, but two pens. Wow, amazing. Is this supposed to be for my non-existent boyfriend? Now, a lot of people would think that the remote is unnecessary. And it's true this looks so freaking boring and dystopian so i put kawaii emojis duh kawaii you can also set shortcuts here for example i want to open my photos app literally just press this button and then oh crap uh, you weren't supposed to see that anyway again let us do the juicy lips test i mean you can clearly tell there's a huge difference between the sizes this can fit both my bigfoot hands so that means it can fit three normal sized hands that's a huge difference for all it's way more comfortable to use this plus i wouldn't be caught dead using a freaking timu tablet and there we go the lips are 50 percent juicier well anyway it's definitely a lot more premium than the 30 dollar one but 380 bucks really Okay, okay. So from 30 bucks to 300 bucks, that is a huge jump. Imagine how many buckets of KFC fried chicken you can buy with that. Now, I personally think 300 is too much. If you want to take this art thing seriously, but you're just starting out, get a more affordable option, but don't buy the cheapest one. Okay, you're gonna look pathetic. 20 bucks is like four Big Macs. Is that all your passion's worth to you? Okay, final thought. Listen, it's really good, but $380, that is not poor people friendly. Okay? Okay. Listen, I get that it comes with a kawaii remote, okay? That's cool and all, but for like half the price, you could already buy a pen display like this. Listen, functionality is okay, but you are paying for the aesthetic, okay? I will only recommend it to people who have a great monitor and to people who want an aesthetic desk. 8.5 out of 10. The price is reasonable enough given the features though. Last but not the least, this is my baby girl. It's called the Concept D7 Easel. Yes, the drawing tablet is the laptop itself. I was originally just borrowing it from Concept D, but then I told them that I didn't want to give it back and they said okay. So now I've been using it for more than a year. So apparently for 3,000 bucks, you can <gasps> tilt your laptop. Ooh, isn't that cool? I call this the anti crusty keyboard mode. Forgot to clean your crusty keyboard? No problem. Just hide it. And then you can also tilt it backwards. Personally, I don't use this mode at all since I use the keyboard a lot. But whenever I'm bored, I just open up a picture of a much
muscular body and catfish people. Oh, and did I forget to mention, this laptop is also touch screen. But Colleen, just because it's flexible and can bend over backwards doesn't mean it's worth $3,000. Any twink bottom can do that. Okay, but do twink bottoms have backlit keyboards? I don't think so. Okay, 3000 bucks. Now, is this going to magically make your poop drawing beautiful and creamy and glittery? Hell nah. Now, if you've heard of the Surface Pro, this is exactly like that. It's basically a laptop that can also be a tablet. That's why it's 3000 bucks. They just turned a freaking laptop into a tablet. And I do not recommend this for artists, okay? And that is because this is specifically for content creators. Now, one thing about expensive gadgets is that it will make you spend even more. I literally won't be able to use this without something like this, okay? I literally need a freaking fidget spinner looking remote just to be able to draw on my laptop. Do you see the logic behind that? You literally already spend a lot of money on this freaking laptop and you will spend money again. Now, don't get me wrong, this is an absolutely great combo, okay? This is literally what I use every day. But don't freaking buy this. If you're just starting out, what are you, stupid? It's like buying a freaking Lambo when you can't even pay for McDonald's. It's not very big brain of you, man. Me personally, though, I love this laptop and here's proof. Let's do the juicy lip test again. Shazam! Amazing. Premium. Juicy. They say money can't buy happiness, but it sure as hell can buy a laptop that can bend over backwards for you. Anyway, overall, this isn't really art focused. It's more of an all-in-one kind of gadget. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend this to you plubs, except if you're a content creator. Bro, I literally draw here, record here, edit here. It's literally all-in-one. Absolutely perfect for me. If and only if you do what I do, go ahead. I 100% recommend the Concept T7. Or maybe you just want a fancy laptop. Be my guest then. Let's compare it real quick to the iPad Pro. Uh, sorry, we don't need to compare. The iPad Pro solos, in terms of drawing that is. Listen, the iPad is portable and convenient app. Meanwhile, this laptop is heavier than my balls. So even though I like my performance better on this laptop, and it has a built-in Wacom tablet, I would still choose the iPad. Because bro, Apple is not bad at all, dude final thoughts. So here are all my drawings. Now, I am not trying to tell you that if you have a cheaper tablet, you will get crappy results. I was just really lazy here. Listen, other people draw with their fingers and are literally better than me, okay? This is good enough. It can get the job done. But the question is, are you gonna be happy with that tiny tablet? Is your desk setup gonna be as cool? Hell no. Nah. Obviously, the Timu tablet is for first-timers who want to try out digital art. The $300 one, however, is both functional and aesthetic. And finally, the $3,000 one is basically like the $300 one, but on steroids. But if I wasn't a content creator, I would definitely choose the iPad over this heavy balls laptop. Which one do y'all like the most? Comment below. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.